Okay, so what we're going to talk about right now are the attributes of Infinity Pickup. Right now what we have here, we're going to start with really overt and obvious weapons. Um, let's talk about the edge first. So the way we look at things is anything with an edge can lacerate. So there is no difference between a big knife that has an edge or a sword that has an edge. With a sword, it's got leverage that so it possibly can decapitate because of the weight behind it. But it is no different than, say, the edge that you would have of a karambit that can still lacerate, right? Um, or anything that's curved with an edge can still lacerate. So edge is anything that can lacerate. Now, anything with a point can thrust. No different than the point of a dagger to the point of something smaller with an edge to that that can puncture. So anything with a point can puncture. No different than the point of a pen. What it punctures is all dependent if it's a soft target or a heavy target, right? So anything with a point can puncture. Now going back to something else that's obvious about that, swords have a point and swords can puncture not just last week. Anything that is blunted is impact. So anything that's blunted can have impact with that. You can start to look at anything that has same blunted points. Flashlight, impact flashlights can also do some blunt force trauma. The hammers can do blunt force trauma. Doesn't have to be an exact hammer, could be anything. I could go to a regular stick dowel and that's blunt force trauma. So anything that can do impact is that. Is it something that I can pick up? I can pick up, a, I can take somebody into a wall. The wall is the one doing the impact damage. So that's anything that has blunt or flat surface can do impact. Now we're gonna talk about anything that is curved. We're gonna take it from the idea of a karambit. Anything that's curved in nature is about capturing something, whether it's a claw where it can capture something or a claw that comes out this way. The karambits are curved. Then you can relate that to, let's say, maybe handcuffs. It's gonna capture something, obviously, right? So you see the curvature of that? So you can see how that is about capturing. And once again, in the previous episode, we talked about the curvature found in the cap that can capture and snag something, right? So anything that's curved is about capturing and then controlling what you have there. Next, we have anything that is flexible. Anything that is flexible has the ability to wrap around something, whether it's a belt or whether it's a scarf, as we have right down there, or anything even that you find everything that's around you. Like in this case, it's a regular cord, right? You can snap around it and capture something when it's a flexible thing. Flexible uh, weapons have that give, so you can snap with it too. So it's got the ability to go out and back in, whether it's a belt, the same idea here, Come back in with that right so anything that's flexible has that ability to capture snap wrap and then finally you can come up with weapons that are combinations for example you've got an impact weapon there this particular tomahawk you've got an edge that can you've got a point that can puncture you've got the curvature that can control and pull you around so all of this can become uh you know mixtures of all the different attributes in this particular case it's got an edge that can lacerate, it's got a point that can thrust. I can hit the side of the blade that can be impact or the edge for impact that way, right? So everything can become a combination and all of these can become projectile the minute you throw them. Because you're able to think in a three, I'm sort of beginning to understand bringing all your ideas together and that anything can be a weapon. Everything is. The, yeah. the fluidity of the situation assessing what's around you and because if your mind is flow, flowing like your body is so are your thought processes right in order to figure out what to use immediately right you don't have to stop and think oh here's a situation i can figure it out no. right you're already in that process you're already able to do that so when it when, when something happens we have boom your own training your thought oh i see this i see that it, actually before we came out to sit down mm -hmm. i've already assessed where i am because it's a habit it's right. a game we play. You walk in here, where are your exits, where are your entrances, where are your weapons. Same thing with the military. The mindset's the same. They come in, they go, okay, where's our insertion point, where's our extraction point, where are your contingencies for this? So it's already a process that we all do, you know? It's already ingrained with the way you uh, think. With the way some of us think. Some of us think. <laughs>